Hey YouTubies, welcome to my channel, my name is Zara. So, you're probably wondering, why is my hair like this? Or you've probably already guessed from the title. I'm gonna big chop. I'm gonna just take this hair off, I'm so over it. Uh, a couple of you may know from previous videos I've mentioned I decided to transition back to my natural hair. Originally I had set out with the plan of doing so for two years, a long term transition, but I'm just fed up, I'm so fed up of the two textures, I just, I don't even care anymore. Um, the back of my hair is already natural, the nape of my hair just broke off, it was like I'm not hanging around for nobody, so I feel like my choices were I either try and stick it out with kind of patchy hair, or I cut it off, and to me just starting afresh and cutting it off was just the better thing to do, so. As I'm gonna do. I am nine, just over nine months post relaxer, so my hair is gonna be very short. But I've had short hair before, so having it short doesn't bother me. But I obviously haven't dealt with uh, afro hair myself because I relaxed my hair when I was 12, and before that I was pressing my hair, so I've never actually seen my afro hair. I've never had to just deal with it on its own. So that's what I'm kind of a bit apprehensive about. But with that, I'm kind of just thinking, well, it's about time I just learn, learn to love myself. Why am I burning my hair off with sodium hydroxide just to get it straight? Like, no. And I've seen some really gorgeous women with TWAs, which is a teeny weeny afro, so I'm like, maybe I can do the same. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna cut it off. <laughs> Why not? I bought some hair scissors. Yeah, I'm cutting it off. I'm not going to a hairdresser because Number one, I've seen some videos on YouTube and they're just hacking away and I feel like nervous. I feel like sometimes some of them are losing some of their curl because they're just, just hacking. And then also, why should I pay someone like up to like 30 quid for something I can do myself? So I bought some hair scissors, brand new ones, and I've created a pre-shampoo mixture. It looks kind of gross. I apologise, but... Uh, and it's got castor oil, coconut oil, a couple of drops of emu oil, a couple of drops of grapeseed oil and Aussie Moist in there to kind of really differentiate my curl but you can see this is like how short it's gonna be. Only thing that I'm like all about is because quickly the reason why I'm going natural in the first place is because I had a couple of really terrible relaxes that caused the sides to literally go bold like and I don't just mean like edges like this, like a whole hoop of it was just bold and it started to grow back. But obviously when I have my short hair it will be more obvious that those bits are quite thin. But I don't know, I, c I can't be dealing with these two textures anymore. Um, so I'm just ready to be brave and cut it off and have a little afro. Oh god. I'll probably cry, like I, that's just what's going to happen, I know, I'll just be like, I'll be thinking in my head, because I keep having these really vivid dreams of me with an afro and I'm so happy but I just know I'm gonna cry I'm just gonna be like why did I do that so my hair is this long it's like the last time I straightened it in January it was shoulder length so yeah I'm cutting off about four to six inches of hair really but say la vie I'm not going to film all of it because I'm going, I'm going strand by strand and I don't want to bore you. So I'll do some of it and then I'll pause the camera and then come back and do the rest. But yeah, let's do this guys. I'm surprised it's not you know it's not that bad but you can just see it's already so damaged and broken off it needs to go see ya so guys I'm back um, as you can see I swapped sides I got really tired on this side I don't know why my arm got really dead so but yeah I made it quite the way through Short, fluffy, there's a few stringy pieces I can feel but 
I'll go over that when I've washed my hair fully. But so far no tears. I, I just like it I guess, I think. So now we'll get into the big bits. Because that's what people like to see, the big bits go. <laughs> So I'm pretty much natural. This side is longer than this side. I don't know why, because I have cut off the straight bits. But I will say actually, it's probably because I noticed that some of my hair, or a lot of my hair was actually under processed from the previous relaxer. So, so in some parts I like overcut or undercut because I couldn't tell the difference between the healthy hair and the relaxed hair so I've literally got this chunk Could I make a fringe maybe My arm is getting so tired. <laughs> Do you see this bit? See, this I think is like the nice new growth, but then it's all text laxed or under relaxed there. So. Literally onto the last couple bits now. The front of my hair is really fluffy, so I don't have that much of a curl pattern. I don't even need a clip on. This is it. This is the last piece. becomes a little rat's tail, tarantula leg. No thank you. Oh, I can see on the floor that I've definitely, in some places I've overcut, like I've let some of the curls go, but that's okay. Because I'll probably go over it and even it out, maybe even get a taper cut, I don't know. Who knows, oh. Let me show you how much hair. that was once upon my head and no longer is thank god oh, it's kind of liberating you know some people do say that I mean it's different strokes for different folks but I think I, I was ready as long as you're ready to do it you'll be fine there's a bit of shock but yeah you'll be fine I just need to get oh hello cheeky Yeah, I just need to go around and make sure cheeky bits over here that I've got everything. And I'm going to style it. Probably going to do a twist out or a bantu knot out or something. And then I'll come back and show you that afterwards. Probably tomorrow morning when I take the hair down and 
But yeah, that's it. I'm natural. I have afro hair as I once did as a child. God. But it's nice. It's so soft. So soft actually. So that's good. Just need to get the stringy bits, wash my hair, deep condition, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll come back to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. This has been so boring, but thanks. Bye! Hello, love. So it's uh, the morning after my big chop. I did a twist out, but I really didn't like it. So I just quickly um, ran my hair under the shower. So I guess that's the benefit of having short hair. You can just quickly run it under the water and then just walk out the door. So it's wet at the moment, but I actually prefer how my afro naturally is like little springy coils in between and i don't mind if it shrinks i mean it's it's a really miserable day today so it's probably going to shrink but um yeah i no tears actually in fact i really really like my hair really happy with it so onwards and upwards now i'm gonna start doing more um natural hair videos follow me along on this i think i'm between a 4A and a 4C, 4A in the crown but 4C all around the perimeter because it shrinks like nobody's business honestly and it's so dry, it is like drier than a sandal in the desert honestly it's so dry all the time um, so yeah there's a lot of different things to get used to, still a bit wet but um, yeah I love my hair, if you're thinking about transitioning or going natural big chopping do it honestly, just do it I say do it because you'll be so happy in the end. Right? Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.